You saved up all your hard earned money. You've been waiting to get that 18 scale collector grade model car from Model Cars Houston. You finally get it. You shake the box. And now you're blaming the mailman. You're blaming pig, the dog, the cat, anything you can find. Rest assured, there is a quick and easy fix for something like that, especially if it's a very small part. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys live how to fix a component like that starting right now. What's going on guys? James with Model Cars Houston. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. That way you can stay up to date on all my new video drops. And if you're looking for a place for awesome collector grade model cars, check out www.modelcarshouston.com. But be sure to stay till the end of the video and I'm gonna show you guys something mind blowing and something that is not repairable. So here we have this beautiful ignition model 18 scale. I'm sure if anybody were to add this to their cart and buy it, you'd be super stoked once you receive it. However, this is the broken piece that was dangling inside the box. I looked at the body of the car and it doesn't seem like the spoiler was rattling around or hitting the model hard enough to where it caused any damage. So this is going to be a quick, simple fix on how to attach this spoiler back onto the supports right here and here. And when small pieces like this fall apart, it is typically because there wasn't enough adhesive applied at the manufacturer. And because it was so little or not enough, any type of shaking movement, any type of dropping, any type of throwing <coughs> into the UPS or USPS truck is gonna cause that to fall off. In this case, you can see that the glue on the spoiler spoiler was here and here, but it wasn't enough to stay on. Other things that I've seen fall apart are feeler pieces. I've actually seen wheels fall apart before, side view mirrors. I've seen the lenses of turn signals and taillights fall off before as well, but all easy fixes, nothing to be concerned about. When it comes to the collector grade world, it is something that we've kind of accepted as, hey, it's stuff that happens, no big deal. If something major happens that is not repairable, then you're gonna have to start getting into figuring out how to handle that. All you're gonna need, and it's pretty simple, glue. <laughs> so in this case, I've got some testers hobby glue, and I've got some Gorilla Super Glue. I like to use this type, and you don't need a lot, okay? Just dabbing a very small amount of this stuff is going to make it super tough to remove and you will not be able to get it off. And what I like to do is I like to typically use toothpicks so that you can apply small amounts, especially on harder to reach areas. Now all we have to do in in order for us to make it work easier for us, let's remove the base out of the frame and this slip. A few moments later. All right, so we've got it out of the box. It actually looks kind of cool without a spoiler too. <laughs> But since this is one that did come with the spoiler, obviously we're going to want to put it on there. We can now easily access it. You don't want to put it backwards, guys, so be careful. Look at pictures. Okay, that's going to go backwards. Let's get our glue for a small little bit out. This is actually has really big lands here, so we can actually put it directly on right there and there. The tester's hobby glue, same way. It has a smaller tip here, as you can see, so you can dab that boom, boom, and be done. But I just like to throw in the toothpick idea because because what you can do is you can put it on the toothpick, take it off and put it where you need to. So if you needed to put it here or here, or if you've got a lens piece like that, or if you have a small canard, you can take that little tip and put it on the tip of that canard and then put it on the model car afterwards. So in this case, let's pour this glue out. So we're doing this live. Don't make me nervous here. This is gonna be my own personal model, guys. This is not gonna be for sale or anything like that. So no worries there. Uh, there's one dad, then there's the second dad. Again, small bits, guys. So you don't need a lot and then we will carefully place this is it the right way i sure hope so place that onto the spoiler give it a little hold and voila you're done nothing to be scared about take your time no rush don't put too much and just make sure you got it uh, sometimes i have seen these posts come off before too so you got to be careful with that but no biggie you are now a model car fixer upper expert let me show you guys a model car that is not repairable <laughs> and here she is now 
<laughs> this is obviously a model car that fell off a 100 foot building. Either that or the UPS drivers were playing kickball with it. Uh, we will never know. Uh, however, this is a model car that had an issue with the car actually coming off the base. So you see those screws right there? And the model car was literally bouncing around inside this acrylic case. Thank goodness the acrylic case was here because it was able to conceal most of the bits and parts. Uh, but in hindsight, I feel like it's a pretty cool model car to keep. I think it's a very good way of showing us what can happen if the model cars are not screwed down to the base all the way. And I have shared this with the brand so they know. And it is an example for other brands as well. So as you guys just saw, it's not impossible to fix, especially if it's something very minor. These are things that do happen from time to time. So in this case, the spoiler looks like it had inadequate amount of glue on it and thus it did not hold the spoiler in place that well. Any little bit of rocking, shaking, or maybe the shipping carrier threw it in their truck, it's gonna cause that spoiler to break off. Easy fix, quick, no big deal. You can move on with your life. You can display that model car with pride and all is right in the world again. Question of the day for you, what did you guys think about the way I fixed the model car? Are there any other techniques that maybe you guys have done in the past that you can share with some of the community members here in the channel? Leave that down in the comment section below so we can all talk about it. And if you enjoyed this video, you can check out more videos in the next slide. I will see you in those videos or my next video.